Hello, today I'd like to share with you the idea of making an enhanced bubble pump or airlift pump. Now this has been something that I've been showing people how to make on my courses, but as yet I've not got around to making a film, so hopefully this will make amends. Now, normally with my sw swimming pool design, the profile is sort of like that. Uh, there's the water, this is the planted zone, this is the swimming zone, normally about two meters deep, and this is about a meter deep at its deepest, the planted zone. Well, it can be even more deep, but anyway, let's stick with this. One meter deep, one meter deep there, two meters. And then we have um, our bubble pumps coming out like this, and um, they go into perforated land drain, which is under um, the shingle layer, and, uh, and then substrate layer for the plants. Yeah, so here we have the normal bubble pump. In here, we introduce an air stone, and that, uh, well, no, that's fed with an air compressor, and it makes bubbles, and the bubbles rise up and pull water out, and water is drawn down to replace it down through the planted zone, and it gets filtered as it does. Now, this is all fine, but there may be situations where you want a bit more oomph from the airlift pump. Say, for instance, uh, circulation is not very good, uh, you haven't put enough airlift pumps in to begin with, say, uh, or you've just got a reduced space. And you just, anyway, you want to get the power up. Effectively, the, uh, the, the draw uh, that this airlift pump will create, and you want to increase it, or the flow rate, I should say. So what we can do is make one of these enhanced earth pumps. Uh, basically, the same. With uh, an earth pump, uh, the flow rate is proportional to the depth, or the head of pressure it creates is proportional to the depth, or the submergence. So if we took a pipe down the bottom up here, that would have a much greater flow than a pipe that was only one meter deep of the same diameter yeah this would have a greater flow the uh, compressor you don't get something for nothing the compressor is going to work harder to pump that down to that depth but anyway you get a greater flow with a longer submergence so what we can do here is uh, make a pipe normally it's a four inch diameter pipe looks a bit fat there and, uh, and, and a T connection here, and then it's capped there. So effectively we've made uh, a tank there, and in the top here we then drill a hole for a three inch pipe. Yeah, so the three inch pipe comes out the top there. Now, this has got a bit of a mess, is not it? Let's stop again. Uh, draw it a bit bigger, so we end up with a, a system like this. Um, this is the four inch T connector, and this is a bit of four inch pipe. And at the end here, we've got a cap in there. I'll show you this in a, in a demo in a second. We'll, we'll, we'll make one. Uh, and here there's another cap. And in this, we're gonna drill a three inch hole. And then put in, drop in a three inch pipe. Okay. Uh, we'll chop a bit out of the three inch pipe on one side so that water can get in. So what happens, we put an air stone inside the three inch pipe, water level is up there, say, and um, bubbles rise up this pipe, they come out here and draw the bubbles, sorry, draw the water with the bubbles, and this draws water in here. So, the, and then the water comes down this way and up out there. Now, because we've got this much greater depth, we're now nearly at two meters deep down here, um, instead of the uh, well, less than a meter normally. So we've got a much greater head of pressure from this three inch pipe. So the flow rate will be uh, significantly higher. As I said, the compressor is gonna work a bit harder because it's going down deeper. But if you're limited for the number of uh, earth pumps you can have in a pool, then this is the way to go. So let's have a go trying to put one together. Okay, so what we need is some four inch pipe, 
110 millimeter diameter stuff is uh, length of that. This is going to be our three inch pipe. Uh, it's actually 68 millimeter diameter. This stuff, uh, rainwater down pipe, and it will do. Uh, and uh, this is a um, standard uh, four inch T fitting. Um, and we're going to shove it all together. Oh, and this is a four inch end cap. Uh, for it, we'll just, we need a couple of these actually. Um, but thankfully, I found this knocking around, so it's uh, reduced the amount of time. You've got to watch me trying to push some pipes together. So um, there's the teeth fitting there. This is great, actually. Um, and this is the length of uh, four inch pipe with an end cap on it. Uh, this, uh, this bit of pipe's got a socket on it, so I've got an end cap in, otherwise, you have to use a different end cap. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's about a metre meter long, which will sort of match what we've got in the pool in terms of uh, depth of the swimming zone. So, uh, all I've got to do here is uh, drill a hole in this four inch uh, end cap and I want to put a 68 millimeter diameter hole in there so then I can put that on there, pipe will go in there and then the whole thing will flip, flip, wrong word, push onto um, uh, the, the four inch pipe that's coming through the regeneration zone wall. Um, I'll have to you know, pull off the uh, the old one, which is just an absolutely right angle bend, um, and replace it with this. But that'll be fun. That'll be a little, a little bit later. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that because it's it's blinking freezing. Right. So here's our end cap. I thought we'll have a go with this. Right. Try and make it central. Obviously, it doesn't really matter if it's not quite centre, but it just doesn't look very good. So you could mark it, but... It's better to use a... Um... A corded drill instead of this, it's got to be a bit easier. Oh, I tell you, life's too short. I'm going to do a zoom in, hang on. There we go at last. See? Just when you were giving up. Right, okay, more than this. And now we've got a, um, a hole, not very neat, but anyway it'll do. Um, and hopefully that will just look at that. Ooh, lovely, what a lovely fit. Okay, right. Because on this, on this pipe, this three inch pipe, I've already, what I've done, I've actually just cut, cut halfway through the pipe there, and then cut down here, and then with a the heat, heat gun, I've just curled this around, and that's so, um, uh, that can then, this nice little uh, curly bit at the end, can hold the air stone. Um, we'll just put a tie wrap through there, put some holes in there to hold the, uh, hold the whole thing in place. So that's a, a nice, neat way to hold an air stone in place. Um, this let just go in there. Okay, this is going to go a bit lower. That sort of thing. I won't push it all together for the moment. Um, okay, and then I'll, um, I'll, I'll show you uh, when I put it in where the where the goes. Okay, here's a uh, an airstone. This is a one inch diameter airstone, and it's about two inches long. Um, that's a two inch ball 
two inch down with a ball air stem. So they come in different shapes and sizes. The one inch one is better for three inch pipe really, because the two inch one tends to um, uh, itself call, cause a, a blockage. Still works, still works. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna put it on a bit of uh, aquarium air pipe. This is sort of silicony, so it's quite flexible. Drop that down the end. Okay, and um, yeah, so just to fix it with a, uh, a tie wrap. Bit not long enough, there we go, one of these. Um, through there. There we go. Um, so there's two holes of drilled in there and kill this round with a heat gun um, and then let's just get trapped the air down there just in there let's just do this okay. okay be something like that and then I'll uh, trim this off I'll push that around there isn't it stick that in there for now Anyway, we just trim that off, um, but I haven't got any scissors. The air stone at the base of the pipe creates a rising column of bubbles and water. This draws water through the pipework and down gently through the filtration beds of the planted zone. Okay, I really wish there was some other way to do this. Um, there we go. Existing one. Right. Get this beauty in there. Ooh. start to clear the water. Obviously it's easy to incorporate these enhanced bubble pumps as the pool is being constructed. I made these for a pool in Northumberland. If you'd like to know more about organic pools and how to make them, then please subscribe to this channel. All the best. Ah, can't do it. Never has DIY been so hard. 